My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, my name is Brian Sauter. I'm uh, here in St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, just uh, excited to be on this call with you. How are you doing? So far, so good. Brian, let's dive into it. How much your physical fitness has to do with your business? Um, all of it. So physical fitness is um, tied to everything. Uh, in my opinion, especially during uh, these times right now, uh, there's a lot of going on and actually a lot of people are worried about that right now uh, in terms of, you know, if they've taken a month off um, their training routine because we can't, uh, it actually works uh, to your brain. Your brain actually uh, takes the blunt of the physical pro uh, issues going on with it right now. So um, Taking care of your body and your mind is one of the best things you can do, especially during this COVID. So let me ask you a question. I see a lot of entrepreneurs that they're getting their business off the ground. They're busy. Life happens to them. Family, you know, all these different things that everybody at some point or another, they go through. How do I create that? Because I'm completely against the word balance. I don't think there's ever a balance. But you strive to create some normality, some type of a routine. How does one person who's busy incorporate that physical aspect so it becomes a routine for them and their business at the same time so they don't have to lack the, the physical part? Well, I think you just said it right there, Vahid. I think uh, making a routine, that's one. I just actually was creating a presentation for some uh, uh, hockey team here in town and the woman who wanted me to talk about it, like, I had to make them understand that, yes, all the physical training, nutrition, all that is very important. But if you don't have a routine every day and you don't set it aside, that you'll never get to it and it'll just compound. And you, trust me, I've heard a lot of people in this uh, downturn that people, they don't work out one day, then it's two days, then it's three days. Same thing with their, um, you know, their nutrition, their food, whatever, but he, you know. And so it's very important that you have a a regime in the morning or at night and kind of set that out for every day. Um, you know, I'm married. I hear, you know, I go on and I've seen a lot of your videos and talking about your wife, my wife, uh, if she doesn't have it set in stone, um, she won't do it. And that makes sense. I'm lucky that I work at a gym. So it's, it's right there. So that's you're where, so lucky, man. Well, so many guys are looking at you. They're like, you lucky son of a guy. Like, you got it made, man. You just, you're right, right there. Like, you don't, you show up and you get to do it. But I know that's taxing also on your body, too. You can't be doing all of that stuff with everybody, too, because then you're just overworking yourself. Yeah, there's, I mean, naturally, you talk about you don't like to be in balance, and that's true. A lot of people don't. And that's how you get a lot done. Um, but I, uh, speaking with uh, a consultant like myself or other people that naturally there's not tons of us around the world that if you get somebody that really knows how to kind of, I have four kids as well, Vahida, and you might've seen that from my Instagram account, but like I have to, I only have to balance, keep taking care of them. But like, it really has helped me um, keep a straight mind, especially during this, uh, you know, I'm at home watching them while my wife's working. And it's very important that, um, you know, you're not over taxing yourself training uh, nutrition wise, anything like that, at least right now. Um, and then when it comes back to maybe we're opening up uh, the government and everything here going forward, I think you can really dive into uh, finding new ways to help your body if that's something that you had done before. So here's my question A lot of individuals, including myself, for quite a while, I thought that when I look at somebody and if they're slim, they got a six pack, they got the muscles shoulders. I, I mean, I thought that was definition of being healthy. But then I was told otherwise by a, a personal trainer. And it just happened by accident. I was like, yeah, man, that guy is so healthy. Look at that guy. He's going to live a long, you know, the, 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 right, the lifespan is going to be longer. And he looked at me, he goes, are you serious? And I was like, why? It's like, that's not healthy. You know, that that's working on it. He's fit. But that's not healthy. And I was like, what do you mean? Elaborate a little bit on that. So what can you tell us? Because a lot of people think that just because they don't have a six-pack, they're not healthy, or they're just killing themselves to get the six-pack. What, what can you tell us in, in that realm that might help us a little bit? Well, same deal. I really think that if you just make sure that you know what you're doing, hire a coach, hire a personal trainer like you're talking about, and 
make sure that all your needs are taken care of nutrition, supplementation, training. Uh, you know, you, you like to promote Napoleon Hill's book. I've been going, you know, I haven't read it in a bit, but once I started seeing this, I started going over some of the old stuff that they're talking about. And it's very true. I'm looking at like how your brain, uh, kind of sends messages all the way down throughout your body. So if your brain is overtaxed, overworked, you're really not going to be able to have the best body. And like you said, I've known, you know, I've been doing this for about 17 years and there's definitely been roller coasters of people that have the best bodies that actually passed away very young. Um, and it's sad to see, but they did it the best for those 20, 30 years that they did it, right? So it's ultimately all about your goal. And it's the same thing with like any professional athlete. Think of NFL football players. You know, they get about 10 years, maybe less in average to play. It's not healthy to be an NFL football player. It is not, right? It's, you make a lot of money and you treat your body as best you can with hopefully you get the best coaches and all that. But at the same time, once they get out, that's why you, you see all these insurance and all these things with the brain health and all that type of stuff. If you're able to hire a great coach to see what's going on in your life, he, that's most important. I could give you some generalized tips because I don't know much about naturally anyone on this call, but like, um, it's very important to kind of lay out every, what's in everyone's life because everyone's different, as you know. And so um, the success principles for that can be different. And that, you know, no one likes to hear that in my business, but it, I like to say it depends. And so what the most important thing is to make sure it's, itemized for you i agree with that 100 percent. i mean i mean you nailed it right there everybody is different and they need a different plan and to me it's like so many people try to do it on their own and i've been trying to go back and forth and try to figure this out why are we trying to do it on our own where we could go get an expert that could help us with that process and make it easier why do we gotta expect i think it's like a human thing that we like to put ourselves through pain and suffering. I kind of think like that is the key. Like why can't we just, even Napoleon Hill that so many people look up to and they're like, oh, success principles. This guy was genius, was ahead of his time. He even had a coach and his coach and mentors were all these interviewees and all these people that he interviewed. They all mentored him little by little and that's the accumulation of all of it. So even great NFL players, basketball players, all of these people, they all have multiple, right, coaches and mentors, so, which comes to my other question for you. In general, why is it important for us to have a coach and a mentor? It doesn't have to be just in physical. It could be in business. It could be in yeah. relationship. It could be in so many. Why do we need a mentor? Why do we need a consultant? Huge chapter of Napoleon's book, Specific Knowledge. So... I cannot be the best me with what I do and then also do what you do, Vahig, right? Or I just had signed on. Uh, there's a company called the Dad's Edge that I talked to a guy, and it's unbelievable. And I want to be the best dad I can be and so on and so forth. And there's so many different factors, as you can imagine. Whereas most people think, train, well, Brian only trained. He's just going to show me how to lift the weight and all that. Well, there's so many different factors to what I do. And I've spent 17 years, one, studying a bunch of stuff and – you know, same thing with you, but he like, you can never get all the intricacies unless you surround yourself with these people. And then the number one thing I think, in my opinion, is that, that the mastermind, that's the best part. I think what you probably try to strive to do um, is get experts on all different topics and kind of bring them together. And that's honestly, I, you know, I'm 38. And so I've been on this earth enough, but I still got a lot more time. And I try, you know, like money, I'm not very good at money. And so I try to you know, I, I'm not able to hire, you know, a $500,000 uh, investment firm, but people that are smart, I try to read good books. I try to, I have friends that are in the business. So I just ask them more questions. And I think that's what's most important for people, especially in this realm, is surrounding yourself with someone you trust, right? Someone that makes you, uh, that you know is educated and you know that actually is providing you results. And I think that's a lot of what I've seen through your videos, um, I, because that's, that's really huge. Not like I said, I'm a small... I'm a small pin in this world, but I've, I've made it my life's work to try to help people no matter where they come from on their physical and their mental abilities when it comes to, uh, you know, performance. I, I, I got a, I got a, I got a DM message from this big, huge guy 
is just you know comparing to other people he's huge on on social media yeah. and he sent me a message he's like how come you interview all the little guys yeah yeah and and i was like i looked at i mean i i literally like had to like think about my response and i was thinking i was like because they're little i like to interview them because yeah. they give me the raw they don't give me the fluff and they don't give me the fat and they don't worry about their reputation they give me the truth 100% right there and there it's this is it and everybody was there at some point who became big so i'm like a lot of people will look at you and they're like oh i can never be like that but yeah. you and i people could look at they're like dude i could do that i could i could i could go watch some videos to do this i could add that i could you know he give me a couple of good tips i could add it but a big guy may not have that close relationship with the audience to be able to connect and that's why i was like you know i i like to work with the little guys they keep it simple their egos is in check they don't think they're big guys big shots this this i don't have to go through 50 people to get to them all that stuff it just works out i have a much easier time working with those people and i like to learn from them so yeah. going back to what you said a specialized knowledge with uh, thinking grow rich i learned that from that so any topic you don't know brian i'm telling you financial services i mean that's what i do for a living but right. let me tell you something whenever i don't know something youtube that baby after you watch 100 200 videos like going to bathroom walking around doing this like i'll be walking with my daughter i got youtube playing you know she's like she's looking at me like where is this noise coming from is like my phone in my pocket it's yeah. just like playing that is good for her is good for me so we're doing so there has not been a topic that i could have not mastered by watching a couple of hundred videos on youtube and that's getting a specialized knowledge now i don't say i become expert at it but i find a couple of experts through the videos because i can pick up i'm not stupid i can pick up who knows their content you know i watched this guy for an hour and a half and i got one idea out of him and then i watched another guy within 15 minutes I was like taking so much notes I was like wow this is awesome so now I know that this guy knows his stuff so when I need it pick up the phone send him an email do whatever that's the guy who needs to be your mentor I would have not known that if I wouldn't have studied specialized knowledge not to be expert at it but just know where the information is at that's my favorite thing about especially this world and you and I reaching out here is that I've probably spent 50 to 65,000 dollars in, you know, continuing education since I've gotten my degree in exercise science. And the thing that's most important is, yes, I still do in-person training and that's during, during this COVID stuff, it's kind of naturally we're not allowed to do that. But I'm still talking to my clients and I'm still reaching out to people to where it's actually most of what I provide value is in here, right? And so Yeah, you could go to any guy in the gym or anything like that and have you lift weights and all that type of stuff, but the things that I seeked out with those 50 to 65,000 was yes. I'm going to have a big main center that I offer people, but the tributaries that I can offer that I might not be an expert and you're right. So here, here's a few ideas that he do this, do this, but I am not the expert. I'll send you this way. You look it up and then you can have your decision. And I'll be quite honest with you, the clients I've had for 10 to 12 years, they've really appreciated the not just the in person gym stuff i've given them right um i've kind of dove into this performance therapy they call it to where it's like if you were my my uh, client but he you could instead of just me training you two or three times a week you come by almost every day and we work on something okay now mind you 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 price it accordingly you don't charge them a butt load for it but you work on them every day because that's their physical nature too so i would have never known that if i didn't try to get specific knowledge and these are from other high class coaches that I've learned from. So, same deal I'm sure that's happened with you like it's like, "Oh, I can incorporate that into my business." Yes. I don't I'm not going to charge what they do, but I think it's uh a provided added value to anybody and that's what's so great about this world. If you can't make it, and I'm not going to be a blanket statement there if you can't make it, but whatever you want to do, you can do it. I agree with that. And it's it's always the case. People will know if you're going the extra mile. 
Yeah, oh, oh 100%. And that's, it, that's kind of what I think. People are not stupid. You should never assume that they don't get, they know that you're going extra mile. They may not verbally say it or confirm that, but deep inside they know because if they've been around the block, they look at other trainers or other, whatever service you're in. They look at it and, and you know, I was talking to a good friend of mine last night and he's all like, you know, you have rolled over a lot of business from other agencies and other agents. What's your technique? I said, there is no technique. I just give the client so much more information and education where they're questioning themselves why they're doing business with somebody else and not me. So they are seeking me. They're like, listen, can we do planning with you? And I'm like, you know, you got a, you got an agent, go over there, do it. They're like, no, 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 no. My agent hasn't called me in five years. Yeah. You've given me more information than this guy in five years. And he's been making money off of me. You haven't made a single dollar and you give us this. Imagine if you make money from us, what would you do? And that's always been the case. Referral is the best source. And I think it's like, it's like a routine that you got to build in your business. Added extra value all the time. Yeah. And that's, I mean, value is the number one key, I think, in my business. And I'm guessing since you just said that yours too, um, you know, I think I, you were on a video before, right before this. And I, I wrote down a note saying, uh, I think it was the woman was building business behind the scenes, right? And building you know, a business yeah. while nobody's watching. Yeah, right? that, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, yes, that that is so true. And that in this world, especially the pivot that most of the people in my business need to do right now is because, like, in a normal gym, they could put two, three hundred, like in a normal goal. I'm not, I'm not in a big gym, but. Like I say, a Gold's Gym, like all the Gold's Gyms just completely shut down here in St. Louis, done, like before the COVID. And they, they were probably already on that way and then they saw that coming. So what people need to provide is not just in person, but value. And that's where having these little things, the values that I've provided a lot of clients that over the years, they're like, wow. And that's why people stay. And that's kind of like you said, the repeat business. And then even people that I know that, listen, they're not re really right now ready to train in person or not. So I just give them tips. I send them things. Um, and it's something that I've learned not only from reading Napoleon's book and talking to guys like you, but like my clients, I have a lot of uh, high level uh, CEOs. They're like, Brian, give it out for free. And I, how many times have both of you and I learned that somewhere? Give it out for free. It comes back tenfold. So that's well, always, huge. Always, always. Listen, big guy, I want to thank you so much for taking the time and be, how do, how do people find you? Uh, find me at, uh, at Brian Sauter on Instagram uh, and Facebook. And then um, you can, my company is called Edge Physical Development. So you, there's a separate page for that. Awesome. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule being with us. Hopefully we can do a lot more. I appreciate you being here. Well, thanks for having me on today, Vahid, and have a great day. Thanks. You got it, brother. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.